Hello everyone. In this video, we'll try to find out the sum of a series whose difference is in AP. So this question is very common in some of the MBA exams. The series here is 62, 64, 67, 70 and up till 386. We have to find out its sum. So here we can see that difference is 2, here it is 3, here it is 4. So you can see that the difference is in AP. So whenever such a question comes, you have to assume its general term which is Tn equal to An square plus Bn plus C where A, B, C are some numbers, real numbers and this N represents the number of term. So if I take T1 that means I have to consider term 1 of this series which is 62 this will be equal to A plus B plus C. Why? Because N is equal to 1 so this will become A plus B plus C. Then if I take T2 that means 64 I will be getting 4A plus 2B plus C. T3 that means I'll be taking 67 this will be equal to 9a plus 3b plus c. Now I have three equations three variables so I can solve and find out value of abc. I'll subtract this equation from this I'll be getting 3a plus b equal to 2. From this equation I'll subtract this I'll be getting 5a plus b equal to how much 3. If I subtract this equation from this I'll be getting 2a equal to 1 which gives me a equal to half. So as soon as I get a equal to half I can put it in this equation and find out value of b. b will be equal to 2 minus 3 by 2 which again gives me half. So b is also half. a is half, b is half. So c will be equal to 62 minus 1 which gives us 61. So now we have the general term tn. It will be n square by 2 plus n by 2 plus 61. Now since we do not know which term of this series will be 386, so for that we will put this term equal to 386 and try to find out the value of n. So we will be getting n, n plus 1 by 2. I have written it like this. This will be equal to 325. This gives me n into n plus 1 equal to 650. So if you solve this, you will be getting n equal to 25. So that means we have to find out sum till 25th term. So after we get n equal to 25, we will have to find out sum till 25 terms. That means we will perform its summation from 1 to 25. So we can write it as sigma n square half comes outside the sigma. Then sigma n half will come out. Then sigma 61 will come out sigma 1 will remain inside and this will be from 1 to n or 1 to 25 let me write 1 to n for now so sigma n square means sum of squares of first n natural numbers that is n n plus 1 2n plus 1 by 6 we have extra half so we'll multiply it then sigma n that means sum of square of first n natural numbers this will be 2 into 2 at the bottom that will get 61 into n because we are adding 1 n times so we will get 61 n. Now put n equal to 25 here you will be getting 25 into 26 into 51 by 12 plus 25 into 26 by 4 plus 61 into 25. This gives us 4450 as the answer. So that's how we solve it. If there is any doubt please comment. Thank you. 